So guys, I wanted to share with you today um, part of my EDC that I just kind of cut out of the other video because it's just so long. Um, sorry for the long videos guys, but it's hard to get all this stuff in one video. But I almost always wear a belt and this is what I use a lot of times just to touch up my blades to kind of polish that edge a little bit. Um, just dropping my blade and today I'm going to use my Kershaw leak that I always carry in my pocket and uh, show you how I strop it. Hang tight guys. So guys, of course I got the buckle on it here. I did make sure that this was 100% leather, you know, not that fake imitation stuff. I did it, but I just pull it around the tree, hook in the buckle. Now I do this to the inside of my belt. I don't know if it really matters, but I do it there, that way I don't leave a bunch of, well, your belt will turn black from all the shavings or whatnot from the polishing of your knife or the metal is rubbing off. But anyway, this is the Kershaw leak and this is what I do. Um, I once in a while while I'm at home will put a green compound on here and I don't always do that and I didn't always do that. But whenever I strop my blade, I don't know if I'm compulsive or what, but I'll go ahead and strap it to something. Sometimes I'll just wrap the end around my foot or, or whatnot when I'm at the house. But I just go with the blade, one side of it, an even number of times. So I'll do this 10 times, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Then I flip it over and come back to me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and so on. And then I'll go eight. You know, same amount of times on each side of the blade. I'll just do with one stroke on each side for a little bit until I just feel comfortable with it. I don't know. Not really any science to this. And then just test the blade out myself. Of course it feels sharp. And I don't know if you can see that shiny polished edge now. This definitely sh polishes that edge up for you. But I don't have hair on my arms for say to show you that this thing is shaving sharp. Otherwise I'd show you that. But anyway, just thought I'd share that with you guys. Um, that's one good reason to carry a belt. And of course you can use the belt for lashing things together. Um, I have that all on my Leatherman that I have used to punch new holes because this belt I bought it long on purpose just so I have more to work with and uh, went ahead and punched in three new holes in here. Of course just went in and just reamed it out and just kept twisting, you know, put it in there and just kept twisting and twisting with that awl. And uh, of course you could do the same thing. Uh, I'll show you real fast one of the tricks I do with the extra part of my belt probably not important to you but I don't know about you guys and I don't know why it <laughs> drives me nuts but Dave Canterbury he always wears his belt and that extra flap of leather on the belt just hangs there like this <laughs> and I keep thinking what 
keep thinking about asking him why in the world does he let that little piece of leather or that, I don't know, it wasn't really little, it's like 12 inches along just hang out. But uh, I'll show you what I do with mine. Uh, hang tight. So guys, I hope you can see that. This is where my belt ends right here. Right behind, it, it barely catches this loop and a lot of times it falls out. So then it's doing this number. Absolutely drives me nuts. I can't stand this with the piece of leather just flapping around in the wind like that. So what I do with my belt is I take and fold it into the inside and I slide it back in to itself. And that way it creates a little back pocket in there instead of it barely catching that next loop. And it just drives me nuts when it bumps out of there and it's doing that. So anyway guys, there's a tip. If your belt's too long or, you know, you can find a belt to the garage sale and still use it. Those are still good belts, guys. But anyway, just thought I'd share that with you. Just a little quick tip. Tuck that belt right back in there.